Changing of the Guardian is a pretty decent Simpsons episode. There are some really nice messages in it, and I think it's quite thought-provoking as well. It's the 11th episode of the 24th season of The Simpsons, directed by Bob Anderson. And it starts off with some pretty horrific weather. There's a tornado. Marge and Homer go out looking for Sandra's little helper with Carl and Lenny. Seems kind of random. Homer writes something very sweet on a window. I won't say what it is, but I found it to be really moving and really touching. And it kind of helped to set the tone for the rest of the episode. Because of this near-death experience that they have in this tornado... Marge and Homer realise they haven't got guardians for Bart, Lisa and, and Maggie. So they spend a lot of the episode trying to find guardians. And it's a, a rather amusing sequence where they go round to different people in Springfield and they all have very different but also very similar reactions. And I just thought it was very well done. And then they find a couple who seem to be perfect, absolutely perfect role models. But not everything is perfect. And I'll say no more than that just now, but I will, with a spoiler warning, discuss the message that we're given ultimately. I suppose the message itself isn't really a spoiler, but the message is revealed at the end. So I'll I'll give a spoiler warning in a moment. But I think it's a really great narrative and it's very thought-provoking. I think most people with children kind of know who they'd want their children to go to in the event of something awful happening. But particularly in cases where the child isn't, isn't christened, that may not actually be written in paper. And the only way to guarantee it is by making it legal. And I think if, it, if this episode encourages parents to put that in writing, so if anything does happen, their children go to the right people, I think that's a pretty wonderful thing that this episode has done. And it even made me think, can I do that for my cat? I don't know if I can. There must be there must be a way to to ensure your pets go to the right people. I'm not sure. The episode has prompted me to look into it at some point. Um, but I really enjoyed it as well. Definitely enjoyed The Simpsons going around different characters trying to get the right guardian and their responses. And with regard to the couple they find, there was a moment where I thought, this is a little too convenient, this is a little too quick. And it felt a little bit forced. But then we get over that hill and we get this beautiful message and I think that that is, is the most powerful thing about this. I'll discuss that now with a, a spoiler warning. I, still, I won't say exactly what happens at the end or how this message comes about. But I will explain the message from now. And the message that we learn is that, very movingly, Homer gives this great speech. This is a very, very well written episode. I have to point that out. It's just there's so much in this that's flawless. Apart from that one moment where I thought, a little too convenient... It's otherwise really well written. And Homer gives this speech about the fact that this couple may be perfect and they may be great guardians. But right now, Marge and Homer are their parents and they're still alive and they need to be together as a family. And that's what's important. And I, I just thought that was so beautiful. And there's a line, something that Homer says to the effect of, instead of concentrating on dying, I'm going to concentrate on living. Something to that effect. And I found that to be really moving as well. And it, it's not uncommon that we get so caught up in, in the negatives that we forget to focus on the positives. And obviously it's important to get your affairs in order as soon as, so that if something does happen, things are, you know, as straightforward as possible. But also, as Homer says, they're alive now. It's more important that they focus on spending time with their children rather than spending time finding somebody to give them to should they, you know, die. And I thought that that was quite moving as well. Really, really enjoyed this episode. It isn't perfect, as mentioned, but actually I found it to be full of a lot of inspiration and, and some really good food for thought. Uh, and as I said, if it encourages even just one person to take the steps to legalise the guardians for their children, then I think that that's brilliant. Because it's better to be safe than sorry. And it's a pretty great episode. Really enjoyed it. Really, apart from, you know, a few minor things, I don't have any complaints about changing of the guardian. I'd be quite happy to watch it again.